Good morning, Dave the Sign Guy here. I'm approaching the end of the build of my tiny camper for the back of my Ford F-150. Uh, I have the five and a half foot bed and that is why I built this camper because nobody makes one that fits into that truck with the tailgate up. Um, that being said, uh, as I said before, I'm approaching the end of the build which is uh, last but not least, the door. And I'm making a Dutch door, which means it actually splits in half uh, so that when the tailgate's up, I can still access the inside of the truck or if somebody puts the tailgate up with us in it or I in it or someone in it, they can still get out via the top half of the door. Now, that being said, the, the door is being made exactly the same way the rest of the camper was pretty much made. And I thought I'd go over that real quick. Um, I've already got the panels bent for the door. And you'll see those right here on my workbench. There's the skin and I had it bent 90 degrees all the way around with a half inch lip. Hopefully you can see that. And then I framed it inside and I'm in the process of putting the insulation in it. So what I thought I'd do is take a minute and just tell you how this whole camper was built. Built, I'm sorry. Number one, there are no welds. The whole framing of this camper is based on one inch aluminum tubing on either 063 or 080 aluminum. Uh, by the time you bend the aluminum around this framing and uh, use the double stick tape that I'm using, she doesn't go anywhere. And every piece is literally taped uh, to it. So for example, here you see the tape around the edge. I'll also be taping the center as well. Now this tape is called VHB tape. Hopefully you can see it if I can get it within focus. There we go, 3M VHB tape. This is used in trailer making, commercial trailer making, uh, and other commercial applications. It is basically an epoxy tape. Once these two pieces of aluminum are put together with this tape, you do not get it apart. It is literally near as strong as welding. What I do like about it, however, is it does allow for a certain degree of flexing that welding does not. So that means if you get some vibration, it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna create cracks or weaken the, weaken the structure. As a matter of fact, by doing the tape like this, you're actually pretty much creating a weld along the whole length of wherever the tape is. Now, one of the other things I do once I put the back skin on this, so it's made from the inside out. That's the inside, inside, and then the final skin, which is there, will sandwich right on top with more tape. And one of the final things I do is rivet both as well on the ends and just a couple in the center of this door so that it definitely doesn't go anywhere. So it's very much short of welding made uh, in the same nature as aircraft. Uh, so again, if we go back to the camper itself and you, we go inside the camper here, you will see this particular wall was done the exact same way. Now I didn't rivet this particular portion because once it was put together inside, it was so strong, it definitely isn't going anywhere. One of the things I did on the edges, you can see where the outer skin, it rip, uh, rolls into the middle and the framing of the door that I created is also riveted onto that. Again, double stick tape on the skin and on the framing. So, and, and including the inside piece. So once this inside piece right here, so once it's put together, I mean, it's just so rigid, it's unbelievable. Now at the corners, the corners, again, built from the inside out. I built the inside first with the framing, but wherever one piece of the skin met the other, I would overlap the framing. And then as a final uh, structural and uh, aesthetic, 
I put this eighth inch by two inch aluminum corner round, corner edging if you will, and rhino lined it, and that just gives it even more strength. And if you noticed, it's riveted, offset, about every four inches, three to four inches, all the way around, right on down. So believe me when I tell you that it would take a lot, I'm sure a lot more than a, a wooden constructed trailer or even one of today's welded trailers to, to cause any, any damage structurally. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a quick break and see if I can't put the rest of the install, insulation in and uh, go ahead and put the rest of this together. Alright, so here we go. First I'm going to run a bead down the center. Grab a couple magnets to make sure nothing goes anywhere or not. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Oh, I guess we need to pull the cover off the tape first. That would help. Man, that's so sticky. That's it. It's already on. And if I were to try to pull this apart right now, I'd have no luck. Even with this little is as stuck to it. But by rolling these out, it just ensures that everything is making very, very good contact. Good solid panel. I mean, this is, you're not going to flex it. It's as strong as it'll get. And like I said, I'll come in around the edges and I'll pop rivet the edges so it won't go anywhere ever, ever. And that's pretty well it. You've just seen how I make a door panel or a wall panel. Um, by the way, this also makes for a great, strong, lightweight sign. So, yeah, there's that too. Thank you.
Do 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Let's, I'm gonna give it all I got here. I'm gonna shear it. Shear twist. <laughs> That's what it took, a shear twist. When's that gonna happen? Wow. That's just double stick tape. I'm impressed. <laughs> 